YouTube. Today I'm going to be telling you about my experience at Keystone College. Keep in mind that every student's experience is different and this is my own personal experience. Here's ID to prove that I was a student there and today I would like to be telling you why I would have hoped to go to attend the fall semester of 2017 for Keystone College, but unfortunately, due to some of the reasons I'm about to reveal in this video, I will not be attending Keystone College, nor will I be attending any other college for an undetermined amount of time. So when I went to the summer orientation of 2016, the campus was a beautiful place and I fell in love with it. I also fell in love with the people because they were so nice and friendly, the environment felt really safe and welcoming, and it just felt like an overall good place to go. Plus, it didn't hurt that it was three hours away from my parents' house. So, I decided to attend the college, not only because it was a beautiful place, but because it also had the courses that I needed for my major. Sadly, I wish I would have took a local community college offer deal instead. You see, we purchased bedding, decorations, and all the college dorm goodies a college girl like me needs. Sadly, the week that I was supposed to move in, we unfortunately received a letter that stated I owed them um, a lump sum of money. Keep in mind that at this point we thought we were covered by loans and grants and financial aid that we got. Um, it wasn't up until this point that we were contacted. We had no other letters or phone calls or emails stating that we owed them any sort of money and they told me that I was not able to move in unless we paid the money. So an agreement was made between my mother and the school. She had to make a payment plan in order for me to move in and she had to make a down deposit when we got to the campus um, which we did not have the money in such a short notice but the agreement was reached and I was happy to attend the school um, this should have been a red flag for me at that moment that this school wasn't for me but I decided to you know just test it and give it a try and see you know if this was actually a good place or not so skip forward a little bit to November when it was time to sign up for spring classes because for some odd reason you have to sign up for spring classes in like the beginning of November. Two days prior to the registration, I log on to the website you're supposed to, to log on to sign up for classes. And I see that on the top of my uh, website, there's a pop-up that comes up saying I need to contact student business services about an outstanding financial issue. So I go over there and they basically tell me that my mother has to pay a certain amount of money in two days in order for me to register for spring classes. We didn't have the money for this and again, I was not contacted in any form. Not even, no one was contacted, not my mother, not my father, no mail, no emails, no mail, no phone calls, no anything. Um, at the point that I was told that we could not afford it, I basically was contemplating just going somewhere else, but unfortunately it was too late at this time. My teacher decided to recommend me another option because she felt that, you know, this place was a great school for me and all that. And she told me that I could take a leave of absence, which is me taking the next semester off and they won't charge me so I could pay back what I owe to the school. And I said, yeah, that was a good idea. And the financial aid office told me to fill out some scholarships and, you know, pay them back with that and then I can come back. So from December 2016 until now, I've been filling out scholarships that I qualified for. So one day I go on to check my balance again and it turns out that it reads zero dollars and zero cents. So I think, oh, you know, I did actually win a scholarship and I did just didn't read the email. So I call up the school because the pop-up again saying I need to contact student business services yet again was still there. So I call them up and I ask them and they told me that they gave my debt to um, a collection agency and they paid it off for me. The representative wasn't much of a help, but she told me that and she gave me the number to contact them. And I wasn't told why or I wasn't told in the beginning that I had a due date to pay the remaining balance I owed them already for the semester. I wasn't told a date at all. As a matter of fact, she rec the lady at the financial aid office recommended that I take that I do scholarships and then I pay them off and I come back. So... In retrospect, Keystone College has ruined my chances of going to college permanently. The college doesn't care about you students or your education at all. They don't help students achieve their education. They ruined my, my first ever college experience. They ruined my credit by, putting, by doing what they did with the collection agency. 
and they possibly ruin my chances of going to college ever again. This whole experience was traumatic for me and my family. Now, I'm asking you guys not to like the video. I'm asking you guys not to dislike the video. Um, you can comment your comments about the school or your personal experiences there if you feel the need to say something. But I'm asking you to please share this with anyone you know who's going to be attending Keystone or who's thinking about it. I would love for you to just show them so that they know what they're about to get themselves into. I don't want anyone else's college experience to be screwed like this. I don't want anyone to, you know, have to think that they can't go to college because of a money situation. I would just like you to please share this like wildfire with everyone you know, any freshmen, going freshmen, any seniors thinking about attending this college, any transfer students, just please share it. Thank you so much for watching, and I do hope this video helped you get a better understanding of Keystone College. Hashtag my Keystone experience. Hashtag my Keystone nightmare.